In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage or edit your sidebar. Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I'm Chill, and my goal is to help you transform your passions into an online business. I will assist you with creating WordPress websites, online courses, email automation, membership sites, social media and how to make it work for you, sales and marketing, and more. Basically, you provide a passion and I provide assistance, and let's work to get your dreams realized. Subscribe and click the notification bell to set your dreams in motion. This is your sidebar right here. And in my theme right now, I have it set to show this sidebar on my blogs. On some of my pages, th this sidebar does not appear when I want my content to be full width. But here in my blogs, I do have the sidebar appearing just because it gives people an easier way to view other articles I have or other links. This is the default installation of my theme and it comes with this sidebar for my blogs but it's not that relevant. Recent comments, there's nothing there. Archive, September, August only. Categories, meta for login. Um, so these things, I don't need these things especially when your site is quite new like mine is. I only want search, recent posts, and probably that's about it. I don't need these other things. Login, I have that over here. So let's get rid of some of these items in the sidebar. These are called widgets, by the way. So let's get into our WordPress dashboard. Okay, in your WordPress dashboard, let's go to appearance and widgets. You'll see here so many items that we can include in our sidebar or our widgets. These are all different things we can do. For example, we have archives, audio, display audio player, calendar, we can have categories. We have something about cookies and Flickr, Facebook, have a image gallery. Google Translate, that's a good one. Gravatar, my member press login. Meta, that's already enabled, which I want to get rid of. Recent comments, I want to get rid of that too. Recent posts, yeah, search. There's so many items we can add to our sidebar, and these are the widgets that we can add. And the more plugins you install, the more widgets you probably have to offer. What you saw on the right side in my blogs is called the main sidebar. So this is what's appearing. Remember we saw search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. Let's get back to that. See, see search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, meta. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these right now. Let me get rid of meta, delete. Okay, now let's check our, our site. This should be deleted after I refresh. There it goes. <laughs> Poof, it's gone. Okay, let's get rid of categories, archives, and recent comments. Delete, archives, goner, recent comments, trash. Okay, as soon as you delete it, it's gone. You don't have to update this page. Okay, so let's go check our page. We should only have search and recent posts. Let's refresh this. These should be gone, gone. So now my blog pages only have search and recent posts. When my website is more mature, then I'll probably have a, a bunch more widgets here to add to it. And But right now I'm just starting my website and I just want it minimalistic right now. I don't have enough content to add too many of these widgets, but I will when my site becomes more mature. Okay, so that's how you manage or edit your sidebar, your main sidebar, and your widgets. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If so, please like it and share it. My goal is to help people share their passion and build an online business using websites with membership features, online courses, and email automation or marketing automation. If you are interested in any of that, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of more upcoming videos. Thank you.